session 151 with me, Jessica Brigden of Jess B, Creative Cardiology. Hello, hello, happy Tuesday to you. Hope you are doing well and having a great start to your week. We are well into the month of June here. We have Stampin' Up's 15% off designer series paper sale going on. I have a paper promotion of my own happening to take advantage of all those pretty papers. I have a special little designer series paper bundle uh, where you get six by six sheets of each of the patterns, all nice and packaged and tidy. And these will have the labels on them uh, for all your colors and things like that. Uh, the link is in the video description here, but this is $40 shipped and you get um, all of the six by six packs that are um, from the annual catalog that are on the sale. All right, so lots going on today. Hi, Sandy. Hello, hello. So unusual here in New York, um, it is really smoky. So if I look like I'm in a haze, then it's probably um, coming through. So apparently in Quebec to our north, there are these out of control wildfires and it is the smog um, has been filtering down through New York um, and it started a couple days ago. Um, but today you can smell really, really strong. It smells like somebody is having a bonfire in the backyard, um, but it's the wildfires from Quebec and it's super hazy and just really polluted in the air. So everybody's kind of like congested and sniffling. Our eyes are itching and everything. There's actually a warning how the New York state has issued a warning for um, the upper parts of New York state um, for the poor air quality conditions and I guess that warning goes in effect through tomorrow sometime so um it's I can hear it in my voice now it's <laughs> stuffing me up a little bit too definitely not good for anybody with allergy um, or breathing issues so I close all the windows and I'm inside this afternoon and I'm trying to keep the smoke out and so uh, <laughs> hopefully you guys are safe and doing well where you are and um, so I'm going to showcase a couple of projects today that use all of those pretty designer series papers. Uh, this is a fun pocket card. And if you follow my blog, I know I don't post there very often, um, but I did post a project while I was, a couple of projects while I was on the uh, Stampin' Up! incentive trip. And I did a really cute little pocket card. So I'm going to show you how to make that. And we're going to do a couple um, different product suite collections there so you can see how this pocket card looks using uh, some of the different designer series papers. So I hope you will enjoy this. Hi Wendy, hi Nessa, hello, hello. Yeah, Sandy, I don't know if you can smell it uh, where you are too because she's in New York, but craziness. All right, I'm going to flip the camera and we're going to get crafting. All right. Okay, so uh, like I said, we have new host code here for June since we've started the month. That is 3HB9KFFX. And um, yep, we've got the designer series paper sale going on. There's also um, a bonus uh, for the Stampin' Up! starter kit. If you've ever thought about uh, joining Stampin' Up! Definitely something to consider um, and get a discount on your shopping. <laughs> Who wouldn't love that, right? <laughs> So I got all those details there in the video description. So the first card we're going to start out with today, I'm going to use the Countryside Inn Designer Series papers. I'm going to use some boho blue for our background. And then this, I think, is one of my favorite patterns from the Countryside Inn paper because I love these little foxes. Aren't they so sweet? All right, such a cute paper. And um, so you actually need two patterns or you can use the front and back side of one. All right, um, I'm going to use a contrasting. I'm using some Knight of Navy here for my actual card insert. So then to go along with that, I need, oh, I got a whole little stack of things over here. All right, to go along with that, I need a little three by four piece for the front of my pocket. And then some, all right, also need, I'm gonna show you all the pieces 
that you need to start with. Okay, so for the inside of your pocket card, you need some basic white. And then for, here we go, for the outside, the actual pocket to hold our card in, you do need a square and you need, like I said, a contrasting piece or the other side of the designer series paper. All right, so these are all the things that we need to get started with our pocket. So our measurements here, our card base is the boho blue and this is four and a quarter by five and a half. And it's just flat. I did not fold it. You could, if you want like double card, like a two in one. Um, but for this, hi Terry, hello, hello. But for um, this, I'm just using a flat card base. And then I picked my designer series paper and cut this to four by five and a quarter. And we're going to glue these together. All right, so we'll get our stamp and seal here. And you could use either side, but like I said, I love the little foxes. Oops, I must be running out of adhesive here. Looks like I'm getting ready for a refill. All right, so this is going to glue right on top. So cute. All right, so take another piece of boho blue. This one is three and a quarter square. And then the reverse side of our little fox paper. All right. Um, and I cut this to three by three. So these, again, three and a quarter square for the outer layer and three by three for the designer series paper. We're not going to glue these together yet. We are going to do our cutting first. So grab your trimmer. And there's no real scientific measurement for that. But because it's a square, you're going to cut from point to the opposite point. So corner to opposite corner. And just hold that in your trimmer, all right, until you've got two pieces, two triangles, okay? We're only gonna use one. You can save the other triangle for another card. You're gonna do the same thing with your designer series paper because it's square, three by three. Again, slip it in here, and we are going to cut from point to point. Okay, perfect. All right, so decide what pattern you want up. That's actually cute with this little fox here. I think I'm going to use this one so I can showcase a couple of the different patterns. So now that I've got this like that, I'm gonna put my adhesive on the back side here of my triangle. And then this nicely layers on to my cardstock triangle. Okay, I've got a nice little boho blue border all the way around there and these pieces are extra. All right, now here is where we are going to make the pocket. And I'm looking for my, here we go, for my tear and tape. So I recommend tear and tape for this because it is, Nice and precise, it's a quarter of an inch and it holds pretty strong. So we're going to put this on two sides, okay? We're not gonna put it on the diagonal because we need to be able to make a pocket. So we're just going to put it on the bottom two sides. All right, just go ahead and tear that off. Okay, peel that up. There we go. Okay. And then place this on our card. So I'm gonna go with the lower left-hand corner and I'm layering this right on top. Now, I find it helpful. Go ahead and burnish that with your bone folder. Just rub that over just to make sure that that adhesive really connects to that the card base, all right? Just burnish that nice and tight because we're gonna be sticking things here in the pocket and we don't want this front falling off on us. Okay, so to make the card that goes in the pocket, I'm gonna use some contrasting. I'm doing Knight of Navy and this is three and a quarter by eight and a half. So I just chunked three and a quarter inches off the top of my standard sheet of cardstock. And for this, 
we then just go ahead and fold it in half. Okay, so that's at the four and a quarter mark. You can see how it's going to make this cute little card. All right, so the top size, you can use another pattern. Of the, like I said, this is to showcase all your designer series patterns. Aren't they pretty? This one's got the little flowers. Mm. Or do I want the trees? I think I'm going to go with the flowers. I think that's really cute. That's nice. You can mix and match and create all kinds of combinations here, which is lots and lots of fun. So your designer series paper is three by four. Okay. And then on the inside of the card, because I used a dark card base there, then I've cut some basic white also to three by four. And this is where you can write your message. All right, so you can tuck that in here and you can use cute little message. One of my favorite new message sets is the layering leaves. Um, I love the font on this. It's got your thinking of you, your thank you, best wishes, hello, sending hugs. I'm so happy to celebrate you. Um, and there's even a coordinating leaf punch for that. Love this set. So this is a super cute one if you want to do um, a fun little little card on this um so we could do we could do just about anything um it's really cute let's go ahead and do a about a sending hug that would be cute all right so we'll just grab our block here and we need some do i have my night of navy ink pad out here i know i've been floating things back and forth. All right, so I don't have my Knight of Navy handy, but I do have Boho Blue, so we'll use we'll use that instead. We'll show use our new new in colors and I just put that right in here. All right. Is that cute? So then we have the sweetest little card with a pocket. All right. And we've shown all three of um, the designer series papers. Oh yes. Karen's mentioning that the layered leaves is, um, was designed by million dollar achiever, Rachel Tessman. Yeah. And actually this card design, the pocket card here, um, I got my inspiration for that from Karen Titus. So that's another million dollar achiever there. Hi, Sherry. Hi, Brenton. Hello, hello. So it's super cute. You've got three patterns of paper here. We're using the countryside in on this card. Um, but it's not quite done yet. So for this one, since um, this was a card I had originally designed um, to take with me. Um, excuse me. I designed it in honor of the Norway incentive trip. And so I had actually used this as my thank you card, my customer thank you card. So if you placed an order with me last month, then you received one of these cards. And um, I used the little gnomes. I know they're retired now, um, no longer available, but I thought they were the perfect thing with these cute little wildlife cards. I'm looking for my dimensionals. Here we go. And so I had already um, had some of these cut and colored here. I did a little monochromatic color scheme. Aren't they cute? I just did a little uh, little gnome here with the heart and put him right here in the center of my card. Isn't that cute? And depending on your paper, you could put something right down here. Um, but it's fun to kind of mix and match and all kinds of things. So that was the countryside in paper. So let's do another. I said we'll uh, make a few of these and showcase some of the different designer series papers. And so I was thinking um, another pattern that would be cute that's got some fun little um, die cut art and that is the zoo the zoo crew the zoo review paper here and so I'm going to do some basic black for my layers but then I've got some pops of the um, lemon lime twist here all right so I was a little torn on this one of course our card base is the four and a quarter by five and a half. And I did basic black. And then I cut a pattern of the zoo paper. 
at four by five and a quarter. And I love these little flowers. However, this side is so cute too, because we've got, I used the little hiking critters. So we've got the skunk. We've got, I don't know what this is. It looks like a hamster. <laughs> Maybe it's a, some kind of a squirrel critter, except it doesn't have a tail. Um, whatever this is with the butterflies and we've got our little pig, there's a lion. It's kind of cute. We've got the mountains and the trees. So I think I'm going to showcase this side of the paper and glue the flowers down. Again, the designer paper here is four by five and a quarter. And it's a lot of fun because you can mix and match all the different patterns. All right. So for my pocket, again, I'm doing basic black. It's three and a quarter square. And this time I'm going to use the flowers. I thought that would be cute. So for this layer, it's three by three. So we'll bring in the trimmer quick and cut our three and a quarter inch square from corner to corner. Yeah, Brenton, I thought maybe a chipmunk too, but usually they've got a little tail. So I don't, I don't know, maybe somebody's hamster got loose and is catching butterflies in the wild. I don't know. <laughs> it could be a guinea pig. Uh, I don't know. <laughs> and again, corner to corner on the designer series paper. I guess that's why this paper is so fun because you can just use your imagination and it really is um, <laughs> whatever you want it to be there. All right, so uh, this is, again, the corner piece. If you wanted to, well, maybe we'll do that later. You could use your blends on this or your blending brushes if you don't want it to be like strictly black and white. So I think I'll glue them together. Isn't that cute? Look, it's like a little armadillo with a camera. <laughs> it's too cute. Oh my goodness. Every time I look through this paper, I find like another little gem. <laughs> Hi, Deborah. Yeah, me. Oh, maybe it is a groundhog. That could be it because groundhogs don't have any tails. So, or they've got more of a, like a stump than a tail there. All right. So we've got that adhered here and then we'll use, again, I like the tear and tape for this, for its nice strong hold. And also because it's a nice skinny width, it's only a quarter of an inch. So it doesn't take up too much of your pocket here because you want to be able to pull the card in and out and not have it get stuck down there in the corner. Okay, so we'll just peel that off. Now this card is so much fun because you get such a different uh, looking result with each, you know, depending on which paper you use. And um, you could really, you could use it for all different occasions. Fun for everybody and all ages there. All right, and then again, go ahead and burnish that a little bit with your bone folder just to make that adhesive have a nice connection to the cardstock underneath so that your pocket is nice and sturdy. All right, okay, so for the card itself, uh, I, I went with all black on this one. So again, it's three and a quarter inches by eight and a half. And you fold it at the four and a quarter mark. It makes a nice size pocket. All right. So for this one, I chose, I'm going to use the little skunk image. And I thought this fun little zigzag was the little kind of zigzaggy pattern. It was perfect, kind of reminiscent of the, um, the white stripe down the skunk's back. So I'm going to use this as my card front. All right, this is three by four. So we'll put that right on top. And then of course your layer of basic white for the inside, also three by four. And then for the top, like I said, I die cut, I used the, um, the, zoo, the Zany Zoo bundle here. Uh, there's dies for each of these images. And of course you can fussy cut other ones from the designer series paper as well. But um, so I used the little backpacking skunk here 
on some of the designer series paper. All right, and that's how I popped that out. But yeah, you could fussy cut too if you want a different image. They're all so cute. All right, so I thought, well, that kind of gets a little bit lost down in here. I wanted just a little bit more contrast. So I had some, I think these are about two and three quarter inch circles. This is from this, the um, Stylish Shapes dies um, and the Lemon Lime Twist. I had some of these left over from another project that I was doing. And so I thought that would look really cute. We could pop the skunk up on top of that Lemon Lime Twist, a little pop of color there. So I think I'm going to do that. We'll put our adhesive on the back of our circle here. And I'm going to do that more towards the top, not, not exactly the center, but I'm going to go um, equal distance from the left, the top, and the right here. Let's move that over just a little bit. Okay. I'm going to put that on there nice. Just a couple of dimensionals for the back of our skunk. Let me trim this off. Put him right here in the center. All right, that way it doesn't get lost in my pocket. It's still, still there. And then, of course, if you wanted to um, add a little more contrast there to your flowers, you could come in now. The pigs are in petal pink, but I think maybe a little bubble bath on the flowers would be really cute. So you could do some little, you could do all different colors or whatever you wanted to here. Again, you could even use your blending brushes and just do um, a single color over the background. But that is the, the beauty of black and white patterns is that you can make them any color that you want. All right, so I could just do the, well, and you can add as much color or as little. So you could just do pink flower petals. You could come in with a little bit of lemon lime twist and do the leaves. And you could even do um, a darker pink or maybe a yellow for maybe some lemon lolly for your flower centers. But that's totally up to you. Isn't that cute? Just a little, little bit more color contrast there. Okay. I think I might do, do just a little bit of for the leaves. All right, because that does tie in our nice little um, circle, our stylish shapes circle here and there's not too many and then the um, pretty flowers will smell all nice and they'll disguise the smell of the skunk right <laughs> so isn't that cute such a fun card all right so i love these what do you guys think are these not the sweetest cards ever love that you can use so many different um, designer series papers and got such a cute look from them. Now I'm going to do something a little bit different um, because I'm absolutely loving the May Paper Pumpkin Kit and I'm shocked but the add-on cards and envelopes, the 18 pack of cards and envelopes um, are still available in our online store. All right and that's here in the U.S. So it's just ten dollars for a pack of 18 cards and 18 envelopes. And so I thought, why not use these for a fun card too? So what I did is I have taken, um, so these are the three designs that you get in the add-on kit. So I've taken this um, portrait style card with the copper clay background. This is going to be my base and my designer series paper. And then I'm going to take the boho blue 
card. And this is perfect because it's already eight and a half. Excuse me, the um, <coughs> smokiness all around in the air is, is getting to me a little bit. But the eight and a half inches, so I'm gonna cut it at three and a quarter. All right, and then fold it. And this will be my insert, my little pocket. So the only thing I need is just a little square um, to create my pocket. So I did take some copper clay um, cardstock, just a three and a quarter inch piece of that. Um, and I think maybe I'll use the stamp set here from the paper pumpkin kit. Let me pull out some of those little goodies, okay? So I thought this is just a fun thing. If you have the paper pumpkin kit or if you you know want to get the add-on, um, like I said, they're available here in the U.S. in the online store. But if not, just, you know, there's another fun idea for you uh, for things that you could, could use. So, like I said, I'm taking the copper clay card. And what I've done is I cut that right on the fold line. So I have a copper clay base that's four and a quarter by five and a half. And then I took the second piece. And I trimmed it down just a little bit. I trimmed um, a quarter of an inch off the bottom and a quarter of an inch off of the side so that this is now four by five and a quarter and I can layer them like this, okay? So we're going to adhere these together. So these cards might seem like you need a lot of pieces, but it's actually, um, they're simple to cut and they go together so nicely really you're letting the designer paper do all the work here all right so this is our base and again because this is white on the back you could even write on there if you wanted more space than what your card allows you could put some basic white on the back and do that too okay so now we're going to take an extra little piece of the copper clay card stock. You could cut another card, um, one of the cards in half, but I didn't want to, I didn't want to do that. <laughs> so I'm just going to come in here. This is three and a quarter inches. Again, cut from corner to corner. Okay. To make my little pocket, I'm going to put my tear and tape on here. Again, you're close to the edge and you're only doing the two, oops, two corner pieces. You're not doing the diagonal. It's a great thing about tear and tape. If it cares, you just add more. <laughs> All right, so we've got that. Peel this off. And just make sure the adhesive stays on that back side. Apply our pocket here. All right. And then, like I said, I'm taking the boho blue piece. And I'm just going to cut that at three and a quarter inches. And then that makes... So when folded, this is um, ends up being four and a quarter. I wanted it, yeah, which is perfect. So you just take this card and you cut it at three and a quarter here. All right, so this is what you get. So I'm going to use the bigger piece for my insert, which is kind of neat. All right, so I just need a little something for the front here. So I think what I will do is I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to just use a little bit more. I'm going to cut um, a three by three off of that. Or you could just leave it as it is because it's really cute. But let me, I'm going to go ahead and do that. I'm going to trim this at three. All right, I'm only coming in a little bit. All right, and then... I'm going to flip it up so that I can see where my cut line is. All right. And then come up to meet it there. All right. That's the great thing about the Stampin' Up! trimmer is that you 
got this clear guide on the front along with your measuring lines so you can see exactly. So I didn't go quite far enough. Oops, let me see, excuse me. Didn't go quite far enough. I'll just use my little snips there. Okay, perfect. All right, so now I'm gonna cut it at an angle. So determine how you want this to be on your card. I want the river to show, so I'm going to cut it this way so that my river will show and not be like upside down or something else. So again, line up your corners, corner to corner here. There we go, perfect. All right, and that way I still have, I still have the rest of my card so I could use the other elements um, for something else here. I'll put a little adhesive on the back of this. And we'll tuck this down in here. Isn't that gorgeous? So you've got this beautiful card here and then it's up to you uh, what you want to put on the front. The couple of stamp sets that go really nicely with this are the Wildlife Wonder set as well as Grassy Grove with the, the dyes that have the deer and things like that in those. So that goes really well on here. I think just for um, ease of time right now, I'm going to use a couple of these the little die cut pieces. Hi, Kathy from the kit. I had some pieces left over. So we've got, this would be kind of cute, just the little compass maybe for the um, the front, because the beauty is the backgrounds are just so, so pretty that I really don't wanna cover it up with anything. So I think I might just do that. Just use the little compass on here with a dimensional. And then on the inside, I'll stamp. So we've got that compass pointing towards north. And then I can use the um, really, I love all the sentiments on this. Uh, cheers to another adventure. That would be fun. It'd even be a cute retirement card or graduation. Um, it doesn't matter where you're going. It's who you have beside you. That would be a fun anniversary or, or wedding card. Um, let's see. Let's do adventure. You know, I don't know if I actually have I don't think we have any graduations to attend this year. Um, my oldest niece is in fourth grade, so she's not graduating anything yet. And um, I don't know, I think all our friends' kids, some of them graduated last year. They kind of go in spurts, you know? It's like you'll have nothing for a couple years and then all of a sudden you'll have like five or six all at once. And so I don't think we have any graduations this year so we'll have to save up because <laughs> when they all hit at the same time then <laughs> huh? but isn't that cute fun little card so i realize this is um not a designer series paper but a fun little alternate for your paper pumpkin kit but um again you can use whatever papers or pretty note cards or, or things like that um, but it's the same card, fun little pocket card. And then just by changing up, you know, the collection of paper that you use, you get super fun looks from them. So this is one of my new favorite um, styles of cards. I love that you can showcase three different patterns of designer series paper all on the same card. And yet you still have a nice um, area to put a message and... Um, super quick and cute. So I hope you've enjoyed these projects. If you did, make sure you give me that thumbs up, like, and subscribe. I noticed uh, this afternoon that we are at, what am I at? Uh, 2,800 and I believe 70 subscribers. So we're 130 subscribers away from the 3,000 mark, which is my next 
goal. So if you can, please subscribe. Please share my channel with your friends and other crafters and um, anyone you think that would enjoy it. Would definitely appreciate that and um, <laughs> helping me get to that 3,000 subscriber mark and letting YouTube know that you like my content and want to see more of it. So thank you all. Again, don't forget shop the um, designer series paper sale um, or take advantage of my designer series paper sampler and have fun making some pocket cards of your own. All right, stay safe, stay healthy, <laughs> enjoy your summer. And we'll be crafting with you again soon. Take care, everybody. Bye-bye. <laughs>